Hey guys, I wanted to update you on how I've been feeling lately. Um, I guess this is my, um, I don't want to say day to day, but I'm going to try to do maybe a day to day um, video of my feelings. Um, I guess I'll call it uh, living with depression or kicking depressions but something to that effect um i would like to do that because there's a lot of people in the world that are dealing with depression that are living with depression and they don't know how to deal with it or they try to suppress their feelings and some people don't you know know how to tell other people that they have depression depression is real it's very real. It's um, and it's sad when other people look at you like you're crazy, you're weird because maybe they don't know how to deal with their feelings. Um, I've dealt with a lot of stuff, and I've had serious panic attacks and serious anxiety attacks and it doesn't feel good at all and people don't understand how hard it is to live with depression and try to beat it because you have days where you can be on a, a high and you feel like I'm good I'm so good and then you have a day where you feel so low and you feel like life is just beating you down and it's hard to get back up um today I feel pretty good I feel um I'm not gonna say I'm like ecstatic about anything but I'm, I'm pretty happy um I've been having to find new supplies and stuff for my art. Uh, acrylic painting is, it's not difficult, but it's definitely different. And there's a lot of steps to it. You can't just one day wake up and say, I'm going to acrylic paint and come out with a Picasso picture. This is one of the, the paintings that I've done. And yes, it's beautiful. I think it's lovely. But this is very immature. Should I say immature? Or should I say it's not immature, but it's, it's um, what is it? What's the word that I'm trying to find? What's the word? Why am I taking so long to get the word? Oh, I got the word. It's amateur work. That's what I meant. Amateur work. <laughs> See? I'm like, what is the word? And I had the word, but I'm like, wait, what was it? Yes, this is amateur work here. If you really want to do acrylic painting, you really have to research techniques. You have to research um, what not to do. And I'm going to do another painting like this. And I'm going to show the difference between amateur work and intermediate, should I say. Because I'm going to be getting there to that point. I'm getting better. I'm getting better and better every day because I'm doing a lot of research. I don't have any type of uh, schooling. I wish I did, but I don't. And a lot of people will look at this and be like, oh my gosh, this is great. This is beautiful. Yes, it is beautiful, but it's a lot of blending I could have done. It's a lot of layering that I could have done to make it look more realistic. It's, it's, it's so much to art that I had no clue about. So I'm, you know, researching and I'm doing my homework because I want to be a great artist. I want to be a, a 
beautiful artist, you know. I want to do great things. And doing this and then doing other work that I've done already is like I'm learning how to progress slowly. And there's a lot of supplies that I need to get. And it's sad when you don't have enough money to really pursue your dreams and to really get into the things you really love. And I think that's one of the reasons maybe why a lot of people get into digital art because it doesn't really cost much but Photoshop. And I think that's fine. You know, that's all well and good. But I really want to paint. I really found the love for painting and I really want to get better at painting. Um, I thought about doing a GoFundMe, but I was like, you know, why should I ask anyone to give their hard earned money to me, you know, to pursue my dreams when everybody has a dream? Right, Lana? Mm -hmm. Hey, sleepyhead. But everybody has a dream and everybody has uh, aspirations and goals and stuff. So I'm like, you know what, I'm just, I'm going to make it there. It may not be today and it may not be tomorrow, but I'm going to make it there eventually with my hard-earned money. Yes. Yes. I was cooking. Yes. Go to your But yeah, so, excuse me, y'all. <laughs> but, um... So I'm just thinking that I have to work hard for what I want. I have to, you know, save my money up. And every painting that I do sell, just invest into my business much more. I mean, I have been, but, you know, continue to do that. Because I feel like I shouldn't, I shouldn't ask other people for help. I would love to, but everybody has to make it to the top some kind of way. And you shouldn't cheat your way to the top. You should always... Do it the best way you can and not just, you know, the quickest way you can. Um, but no, uh, I don't feel no type of way about other people that ask for help. If you feel that you should ask for help, do what you can do. I just know that I should just work my fingers to the bone until I get to where I need to be. Um, but anyway, back to the reason why I'm making this video um today I I've been really like really good um I think that if you kind of get into a routine that your mind will kind of be focused on what you got to do more than how you're feeling and I know that's like a, a mini distraction but it's better than just being consumed in a big depression, you know, and then and allowing it to bring you down. So if you got to, like, run or walk every morning, try doing something. If you got to, you know, paint or listen to music, listen to good music, not depressing music. I found that Alina Perez, her music is like love. I listen to Pandora. A lot of people on Vine ask me the song, song, song. And a lot of the times I really don't know the song because I listen to Pandora. And um, Alina Perez, what is it? The radio, That radio station that I listen to on Pandora is so soothing to me. So you should find music that you can, you know, sometimes chill out to and relax yourself to. And, um, things like that. Um, um, other than that, I mean, I'm going to try to basically update on my feelings and kind of open up to the world about depression because a lot of people are suffering from depression and they feel like they don't have anybody to speak to. They can't talk to anybody about it. They won't express themselves. And then the last, you know, result for them is to commit suicide because no one's listening. No one cares. And, um, I've had many thoughts in my mind where I felt like, why am I here? You know, what is the point of me being here? Nobody cares about me. Nobody's here for me and things like that. But God will put people in your life that, that do care and 
that will try to steer you in the right direction. You just have to listen to the good stuff that you need to to get on that path. But that's about it for today. And um, I hope you guys have a beautiful, blessed day. And enjoy the rest of your night.